John Eats Cheap and another local favorite today. This is local to the Southwest. I think it is. Fry bread? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I'll tell you about fry bread. First place I had it was at the Iowa State Fairgrounds, and it was awesome. I loved it. It was great. I've had it at Meskwaki Casino. That's a great place to get it. And also, uh, when we were in the Southwest, we were at the Four Corners down in, uh, you know, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, and Colorado. Is that? No, New Mexico and Colorado. There you go. Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and the other one. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, uh, so the Four Corners, and that's on Navajo land, and they had Navajo tacos. And I said to Mrs. Cheap, wow, we've got to have a Navajo taco, authentic and everything. It was like the worst taco I've ever had in my life. It was horrible. The fry bread wasn't good. It had, they just crumbled up a browned hamburger and put like some tasteless beans on it. It was horrible. So this is going to be an authentic, I hope, Navajo taco. But just the fry bread is what we're making first. So for fry bread, I got four cups of flour all ready to go. I'm going to add two tablespoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. And then we add some canola oil, three tablespoons of canola oil on top of that. There's a one, there's a two, and a three. All right, we're just going to mix this up a little bit, and then we'll get a cup and a half to two cups of warm water and we'll move it over I don't know what Dewey is barking at must have a package arriving all right now we're gonna move it on over to the KitchenAid all right here we go we're moved over to the KitchenAid by the way it's Arizona New Mexico Utah Colorado four corners I remembered it finally so now we're gonna you're obviously supposed to do this by hand because that's how they did it you know out on the prairie I got two cups of warm water. I'm supposed to use a cup and a half to two cups. And I'm just going to pour that in as we got the kitchen aid going to mix this up to form a dough. It's just warm water. I know I'll need at least a cup and a half. And that's about that right there. I'm just going to mix this until it forms a dough. It's a lot easier with a KitchenAid, isn't it? By the way, if you don't have a KitchenAid, they're so good for so many things and they last forever. They look like a 1940s appliance, I think, because so many of them are. They last forever. Very good investment. Or inheritance. I know a lot of people got them from Grandma. This still looks a little bit dry. I think I'm going to drizzle in a little more water. See, it's not quite completely coming together. So a little more water. Let it work that in. That may be enough. And we're just going to knead it for several minutes. Here's our dough. It's good and doughy. I just need to add a little bit of flour so I can work with my hands a little bit to get it formed. You can always just do a little bit of flour for dusting. And we just want to get it formed into a ball. You can see it's pulled away from the pan. And we just want to get that kind of in the, in the center of the bowl. And we're going to let it rise. We're going to cover it and let it rise with the baking powder. There's no yeast, but lots of baking powder. So that will make it rise a little bit. And we're going to let that happen for about two hours. Okay, it's been two hours. Here's our dough. And we add four tablespoons of melted butter. Put it in there. That's half a stick. I don't know why, but butter to anything isn't going to be bad, right? And then just kind of mix it up with your hand. Get it all incorporated. So now we just need to flour our surface. And get our dough out there, buttery fry bread dough. I'm going to kind of coat it with the flour. It rose a little bit. Let me get rid of this. And what we need to do is get everything floured up, get our rolling pin floured up. And we are just going to get these into like 
plum-sized balls, all right? And that's what we'll make our fry bread tortillas. That's about a plum-sized ball, I would think, right there. Get that floured up and roll it out. First, we'll pat it out as flat as we can. Try and keep it round into kind of a tortilla, right? All right, more flour. Don't want it to stick. Now roll it out to the size of a piece of fry bread, trying to keep it round. And you can get it good and thin, that's for sure. Just make it look like a tortilla. And that's getting pretty close right there. I think we've got one. Look at that. Nice round tortilla, piece of fry bread, ready to deep fry. I've got the oil heating up to 325, vegetable oil. So I've got one ready to go. That's the perfect size. I'm going to go ahead and make the individual fry bread balls that I'm going to need. See, about that size. And I'm just going to get these because I'm going to try freezing them for later. I think that should work. But I'm going to get them ready while my oil's heating up. So i got the oil preheating and it wasn't hot enough, so I turned it up just a little, and now it's too hot. Or as they say in the hot, uh, south, my oil. So now i got to let it cool down. It's smoking a little bit, so i just got to cool it down. Because you don't want this fry bread to fry too quick, or it'll be too doughy. You know what I mean. Just, hey, we're experimenting. We're trying something new for the first time, right? All right, let's try frying a fry bread into the oil. And you may have to poke some holes down. Hot oil is a dangerous thing in a kitchen. You know what I'm talking about. And it won't take it long at all. That looks about done to me, doesn't it? So now we'll flip it over. I'm going to try and fold it when it's still pliable, so it'll be in a, the shape of a big taco. This is, this is going to be a really big taco. I might have made them a little big. A little bit more time. Looks pretty good, though. And now, well... I think I'm going to fold it here. I hope it folds. If it's pliable enough, that is going to be a really big taco. Hey, go big or go home, right? Okay, so note to self, I can make these a little bit smaller for taco purposes. Just get it nice and brown on all sides. Got a little more browning to go. So now it looks pretty brown on all sides, so I'm going to pull it out, let the excess oil drip off, and put it on my draining tray. Look at that. It worked just like I predicted, huh, Mrs. Cheap? I, th I hoped that would work. We're just going to let the oil drain off of that for a few seconds, and then we'll build a taco. Let's build a Navajo taco, huh? Look at that. That is like twice as big as it needs to be. But that's okay. We learned, right? So we, we had some taco meat left over from the other night. So I'm going to put that into the shell. Add a little cheese. Shredded, of course. On top. This is going to be better than the taco I had at the Four Corners, I'm sure. A little shredded lettuce. And there we go. I should grab a knife so I can cut this. Let me get one. Here we go. That's crunchy. 
A crunchy, soft shell taco, right? There's your cross section. Looks good to me. Oh, a little piece of fry bread right there. And there's crunchy fry bread. I tried making fry bread one other time. It was a total disaster. So let's try this. It is crunchy. And it's good. Much better than the taco I had at the Four Corners. Mm.